So this is just a quick look at uh, creating a database application with C++ Builder. I'm going to go do C++ and do multi-device. This should work most of the same with VCL, but the difference is because I did multi-device, I have more uh, platforms over here. So VCL, you just have Win64 and Win32. Also over here, we have the Data Explorer tab. This um, uses supports both FireDAC and DB Express. Um, FireDAC is the way to go, although if you want to use DB Express, it's there too. And we're going to use Interbase. Right now, we ship with the employee database, just a sample database. So if you've installed FireDAC and have it set up, then you will have the employee database. And I can connect to that and see the tables. And we're just going to use the customer table here. You, if you want to add others, you can add a new connection. It's going to ask you for a name, and then it'll bring up a dialog like this one where you can specify the driver and the database username password stuff like that so i have the components down here in the form this is the connection to the database this is the connection to the table i can go to the query editor by default it just selects star from customers and i can execute this and see down here actually put this down, down the corner there we go see all the data and see the structure of the database, the data in the table, and say, yep, that's what I want. You can optionally, this isn't required, come in here to go to Fields Editor and add fields. And this will create um, variables for each individual field, but this isn't necessary. And now to display the data, I'm going to use a grid. Uh, I'm just going to use a regular grid, T grid. Oops. I want to drag the whole thing, or not drag it, I want to resize it. And then we'll go to bind visually. And there actually is an option where you can run the, the wizard here, the bindings wizard, and create a grid automatically. But I, I don't know, I don't do that. I probably should learn to do that. <laughs> I like doing stuff manually, believe it or not. Okay, so I just connect the grid, the star on the grid, to the um, customer table. But when I did that, it actually created this um, binding source DB and binding list. And you'll notice it changed this to say um, bind source DB down here at the bottom. Now on the, and you'll see that the grid now has columns in it. Now I can go to this and say active true and see the data at design time. I can even hide those components if I want to. Before I do that, I'm gonna to go to the bind source DB and say add navigator. And this puts a navigator bar that just makes it easy for this quick and dirty CRUD application to uh, navigate through the data. And I do need to write one line of code. In production, you're gonna write a lot more than one line of code, but you know, this is just quick and simple. Customer table. Open. Oops, put the star in there. Uh, oh, I was also going to show you, you can come in here to the columns editor and add columns. Again, this is optional, but this gives you the ability to come in here and change the header from cust number to cust number sign because we're fancy. Oh, let me hide the. There we go. So now it says cust number. Okay. And at that point, my project's all ready to go. So I'll just run it. Give it a second here to compile. And there is my application. And I can come in here. And if you watch the bar here, when I click in here to edit the cell, since I start editing it, so we'll change it to big, we'll see that we now have the uh, commit button here. And I can click that and commit it. Or if I say, as soon as I go to the next row, it commits it automatically. You can also use this for add, refresh, navigating to the top and bottom, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, there you go. Quick and easy, simple, simple, creating a CRUD application with C++ Builder, connecting to Interbase using FireDAC.